and uh, we put a bow on the New Orleans Pelicans season. Uh, they were 36 and 46, had to win a couple of games in the play in, uh, gave Phoenix all they could handle in that uh, first round. Um, and now, I mean, when you look at the pieces, Chuck, hey, man, if, you, if, this team if Zion to... comes back as Zion. Well, let me tell you something. Just, first of all, give, I, I want to say it again give David Griffith credit because getting Herb Jones. Uh, Alvarado's a good little player. And I forgot, they got another rookie, Trey something. Murphy. Trey Murphy, Murphy who can shoot that thing. But you give me C great trade for CJ. They didn't even give up anything to get CJ. You got Brandon Ingram, and you're going to get a lottery pick from the Lakers. And that could be anybody. But you get Zion back, man, this team got a really, really bright future. But that's a big if. Zion's got to look in the mirror. He's got to look in the mirror. Because, Ernie, you, same thing with Anthony Davis. Same thing. You can't be hurt all the time. Injuries do happen. But as a player, screw your family, the coaches, your friends. You got to want to be a great player for yourself. And he's got to say, yo, man, I've been in the NBA. I've been hurt every year. I've been hurt every year. And I say the same thing with Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is a really, really talented player, but he never re came close to reaching his potential. And Zion, he let those guys down. He didn't play at all this year. And they, uh, I mean, so he's got, to, somebody got to sit him down. You're in a circle and say, yo, man, you're a basketball player. You know, you got to play freaking basketball. And then, we don't know what's going to happen. This team is going to be great. Yeah, for Zion, guys that I've known that have been able to overcome that, uh, like getting hurt continually, and, and the way Zion has had it in his early part of his career is they don't believe that was an offseason. So if Zion believes now it's the offseason and he's getting ready for next year, then, then he's going to get hurt again. But there is no offseason for him. He's got to transition into playing because his body has been not taking the pounding. And, and he can't afford to put on the, oh, I'm going to lose this 10 pounds in training camp thing that some guys as veterans come time do. If you, if you were to have a face-to-face -face with him, it's, what would you say? Here are the things you need to do this offseason, and this is what I want you oh, to do no, like when did. you come back. I was like, I was saying, there's no offseason. Like, you didn't play. So we're going... We're going into next season now. Like, we're going into, like, you're, when you went from uh, high school to that school in Durham and you, you went into that program that Coach K has, that's what we're doing. We're moving into a program to get you, like, it's, like, in, in college basketball now, they have mandatory workouts during the summer. Like, guys, they have times that you – he has to be there all the time in and the gym it, go ahead, every Jack. day. And not only that, for a young guy his age, you have to reteach him how to be healthy. Because when you're young, you can eat anything, Ernie. Like when I, my first four years, I didn't have a chef. I'm McDonald's and still going out, putting up big numbers. But you know, when you, when you're a big boned it like us, you have to reteach. You know, teach him how to eat carbohydrates, proteins. You know how to eat them, and you know certain supplements. So he's he's definitely gonna have to come come down. Not a lot, but a little bit. And, you know, he's going to have to train. He's going to have to get stronger. And, you know, a lot of times you can't, you can't predict injuries. But I, I think if you, you know, start healthy and, you know, remain healthy and keep getting healthy, that could... That could you You're going to get in a crash, Ernie, yeah, yes. but you got to wear a seatbelt. And, and first, of all, first of all, the first thing you got to do, the Pelicans got to say, we're hiring you a chef. Because they got to make a decision this summer to give him $200 million. That's the first thing. It, and, and I'm saying, yeah, man, if you don't get a chef and, they, and we're going to put you, we're going to put a weight clause, I can't give you $200 million if you're going to be overweight because I got to pay you. We're not like football where we can cut you and not pay you. Because this summer is the summer. They got to give him $200 million. I'm not, I said, yo, man, if you're not going to get in shape and we, hire a chef. I, I mean, Shaq got a new cookbook. We'll come over and cook for him for $200 million. 